Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 392. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 387 to 393. In this video, we want to see how to randomly generate a 0, a 1, or a blank if I hit my F9 key. Let's see, I have some formulas there. Here's how we'll do it. We'll highlight this range and in the act, notice we've highlighted the range up front. We're going to create a formula in the active cell and then control enter to populate all the cells. Equals choose, the choose function. Choose function just needs one, two, three, four, five, if you're going to have five values, some number there. And then you have to list the values separated co by columns. Different than the view lookup where you know your values that you're returning are listed in a column and you s list them as a range. So the trick is we'll just list our blank 0, 1 as our three values. How do we get a random number between 1 and 3? Well, we'll start off with a rand between function. If you have uh, 2007, it comes automatically. In earlier versions, you have to uh, add the data analysis tool pack in under uh, tools add-ins. So here we have ran between, bottom is going to be 1, comma, and then 3 will be the top. So randomly generate a number between 1 and 3, comma, and then I'm going to put double quote, space, double quote, that's our first value, and then a comma, the next value is going to be 0 or 1, it doesn't matter, and then comma now, we'll put a 1, so we have three values, close parentheses, and then control enter to pop, put this formula populate into all the cells. And then I can hit F9. Now, if you don't have um, ran between, or you're like me, I have run into nothing but trouble with the ran between function. I get these terrible errors. I've been using 2007 for a long time, many years now, and I keep getting these errors occasionally. I create these workbooks. Uh, and some of the workbooks I put for you guys to download, when you download them they get errors and then I have to go back in and get rid of this ran between because it's doing something I can't figure out what it is. And just put the alternative. This is how we used to do it. Int and then rand. Rand generates a number between 0 and 1. Since we want 1 to 3 we're going to have to multiply this number from close to 0 or close to 1 times 3. The int, so uh, 0.5 times 3, if Rand gave 0.5, would give us 1.5, and then the int would take the 1 part. When this is like 0 0.999 times 3, it'll be 299, it'll take the int. Oh, that won't work. That'll give us a number. This right here will give us a number between 0 and 2. But we want to add 1, and that'll give us a number between 1 and 3. And that's how that works. Control Enter, and now when I hit F, uh, 9, you can see that it sure enough it works. That's the safer option if you've had trouble with RAM between like I have. I put a little note here because uh, people get confused by this all the time. That delivers the number 0 to 2. It's always one less than the number you put right there, 0 to 2. And sometimes you want that. Uh, other times you want 1 to the number, so you put the number there and then add 1. All right, we'll see you next trick.